Hi, I'm Dave Carger at the IMDb studio in Toronto, 2019, and from the movie Harriet, I am joined by stars Cynthia Erivo and Leslie Odom Jr. and the director Casey Lemons. Great to see all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Casey, I was surprised that the story of Harriet Tubman hadn't been told on the movie screens before. Were you surprised? Uh, you know, I'd heard over the years about projects floating around. Um, and I guess I, I, you know, it's always been hard to get uh, historical dramas made and, and especially uh, historical dramas starring a black female lead. But um, I think that for whatever reason, it, you know, this was the right moment. Yeah. yeah. Cynthia, my understanding is that this was a bit of an exhausting shoot and yeah. experience for you. Yeah. What about it was exhausting? Well, everything, <laughs> everything. Um, I, it, it took uh, a lot of uh, physical st stability, physical uh, currency. My mental was working, my mind, my spirit, all of it, um, because it's what she requires to to be told and to be given the most truthful um, form, I guess. Yeah. I How did you go about restoring yourself once it was over? I don't know that I did that very well. Um, I, I went away, I went to, to London afterwards, but um, even then it was, you know, to see my mother and my sister, so it was still spending energy um, without, like, recuperating. Um, but I've learned to, like, take the time to, that, that is necessary to do that. So it took some time yeah. to, like, relax. I would find ways to, like, go away, take a couple days off and, like, be somewhere maybe like go to the spa, all of that stuff. Like just find ways to recenter. Yeah. Leslie, your character is a man named William Still who worked with the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society helping uh, people escape from the South to the North. And you've done so many different projects in the last few years. We spoke for Mur Murder on the Orient Express. But if you think about this or Hamilton, it's great to see you lending your talents to bring inspirational historical stories to life. Is that something that is a bit of a coincidence or is that something that you have sought out to try to do? Uh, it's a sort of some, somewhat of a coincidence, I guess, or, um, a, you know, a little bit of both probably. You know, there's, a, there's, I like to feel useful you know, in my profession, I like to feel like I'm, I'm lending my talent to, to stuff that's, um, that, you know, where I, where I can be helpful, of service, you know. And I, and I just thought that this story, not only Harriet's story, Harriet's story first and foremost, but also uh, William's story, you know, that, that I could be a part of, of telling that in any small way was, you know, a dream come true. As someone who's such a huge fan of yours, Cynthia, I got very excited when, during the movie, and I, when Harriet begins to sing. Mm -hmm. in the film. It was uh, a way of communicating, and it was a way of communicating in code, so, um, so uh, amongst the enslaved people. So when they sang, uh, you know, their masters thought they were happy, right? And so they developed a very sophisticated way of communicating through song and um, passing messages through song, but that became Harriet's way of communicating, now's the time to run, you know, come join me. Wow. So yeah, actually extremely important to the story. So I'm thinking about the cast of this film, Leslie has a beautiful singing voice. Your singing voice is just stupendous. Jennifer Nettles is in the movie. Mm -hmm. Janelle Monet is in the movie. Mm -hmm. Were there moments where people would break out into song? I, I don't think so. <laughs> did we do that? No, no. I, that. I certainly did not break out into song. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. I don't know. It, it didn't, you know, there are, there are times when if you're in, in the right place at the right time, then that might happen. But it just didn't feel right, I don't think. We were all there for a completely different reason, yeah. you know? It's just what it is. Another singer in the movie, Casey, is your husband, Vondi Curtis Hall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that he had such a great voice. He, yeah. he sounded terrific. Was, yeah. he, was he excited to show that? Yeah, he did get to sing. So he, yeah. he was one of the, one of the singer actors that, that got to sing. But I mean, it was really about everyone being there as an actor. They just happen to be so talented that they are also singers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, it, was, it was like working with a bunch of, um, of actors that are that are stars and you know happen to have in their back pocket the ability to um, you know be on Broadway or you know, right. <laughs> win Grammys. <laughs> There's a really fun moment at one point, Leslie, where your character is sitting kind of at his work desk. Harriet comes in. I won't 
explain the reasons why, but you're kind of taken aback and you fall back in your chair onto the ground. I bet that's actually harder to do and look convincing than people would think. Did it, did it take a long time to figure out how to do that Pratt fall in a way? No, I think um, uh, that's so funny. I, 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 um, I, we didn't shoot, I, we only did it once, I think. We only did it once. Did you do it on purpose? Yeah. Well, you know, I thought <laughs> that I wanted to set it up so that it could happen. If that's what happened, I wanted to say, you know, but I okay. do remember I saw Casey saw me. Look. I'm I like, had no idea. So there's that metal, there's a huge metal <laughs> stove behind me, okay? I think I'll, you know, and the, the floor should be. So yeah, like I, I set everything up just in case, <laughs> you know, when it happened, it would, yeah, I wouldn't completely kill myself. Okay, good. I'm glad you only did it once. <laughs> yeah. Protect the moneymaker, Leslie, at all, at all costs. <laughs> Cynthia, a couple years ago, yeah. in the space of less than a year, yes. if I'm getting the chronology right, you uh -huh. won a Tony, a Grammy, and an Emmy. Mm -hmm. Which of those three was the most surprising to you? The Emmy. That was really weird. I was, where I was, I think I was in Vancouver at uh, TED Talks, because it was doing a TED Talks. And I found out when I got back to the hotel room that I'd won a, an Emmy. For singing for, on the Today Show for with the Color Purple cast. For Today Show for, with, the, with the Color Purple cast, the, which was the same day that I found out about the Tony nomination. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Very, very weird. <laughs> In other words, ladies and gentlemen, she's three quarters of the way to the EGOT. Okay. Just missing the... <laughs> All right. Just missing the Oscar as we sit here talking about a movie that she's brilliant in and also co-wrote the song, mm -hmm. Stand Up, yeah. over, which you also sing, yeah. over the end credits. Yeah. Casey, was that like, if I'm going to hire Cynthia Erivo, she's going to be singing over the, the end credits kind of a thing? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting because in the movie, Harriet sings, but Harriet's voice is different than Cynthia's voice. So where Cynthia channeled Harriet, that was a very different sound. And so, you know, I want a little Cynthia. Like, you know, um, huh. it was an idea that if we found the right song and it was, it was, it felt right that it was going to be right. But this, I, it came out, uh, it was, it kind of exceeded my wildest uh, dreams. Did you think about the song while you were filming or did that all come after the rap? It, that all came after, yeah, it all came after. Um, we found this amazing uh, writer, Joshua, uh, and he, he had written something and we both sort of came together to create something that fit me and fit him and we rewrote the lyrics, we wrote the, some of the melody and just made it what we felt was right and what was needed for, for our film. And luckily, Casey liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so any, when you see Harriet, don't leave until the credits are over because you got to hear the song.